Greetings friends, it's me Al, and I'm outdoors, and I'm out here on the lake, camping. Um, it's a beautiful night, Having uh, getting ready to have some coffee. So, everybody's going crazy over the K-Cups, and I hated paying for them, because they're so expensive. So I needed the refillable K-Cup inserter, and I picked up two of those take to work with me but I said hey why not use them for camping also because they're excellent little strainers believe it or not so here it is right here um, all it is uh, you open the cap as you can see here and you put your coffee in there and then um, you close the lid I got these, I, I can, I got two of these, they're like 11 bucks a piece, but kind of expensive, but I use it for work, if I use it three or four times, it's already going to be paid for, simply because the K-Cup packages are so darn expensive. So, what I got to do is leave this open, and I have this attachment here, this is a gripper, it can be used as an anchor, stuff to hang stuff from, um, I'm going to put this right over my cup. And I'll pour the hot water in there and uh, let it strain and have a cup of coffee. Now, first time doing this. It's always first time for everything, right? And um, I'm not sure how this is going to work. But we'll try it. And all I'm going to do is pour the water in there. I was thinking I could probably hang on to the edge of this, but I didn't want to. could get hot. But, um, so once my, uh, water's done boiling there. I'm going to put it in that cup there and uh, see how it works. So I'll come back on when the water's done and show you what I'm doing. Alright, so I'm back. Water's done boiling and we're going to make our coffee. So I'm going to put this right over this. I'm going to try to hang on this so you can all see kind of what's going on. I'm just going to pour the hot water right into there. I guess you'd have to be careful because you don't want it to overflow. And all I'm doing is kind of like tapping this to agitate it a little bit so it goes down in. And I would think that you shouldn't fill this the whole way up with coffee grounds uh, simply because it'd be harder for this to uh, sift Probably easier ways of making coffee, but like the uh, pantyhose worked great as a strainer, and that would probably work much better. We get a little bit of grounds with with those, but with this, the grounds uh, pretty much stay in the little strainer here, so. I don't know if you can see it from that angle, but... So 
this is probably the longest cup of coffee you ever made. But, um, this is just a test, huh? And there's probably better, better ways of doing this. But I just thought that the K cup packets were cool because I could fill them up, put a little tape over the top if I wanted to, and have like these little things of coffee all ready to go. And uh, it was just kind of like an idea. So I don't know. You know, um, there's probably different ways of doing it. Definitely the, like I said before, the nylons worked excellent when I used them. So, well, there you have it. Full cup of coffee. I'm sure that's going to taste good because I had about two to three... Uh, teaspoons in there and uh, what's nice about this little hook thing is I can turn it over over here and tap it out while I'm still hanging on to it to get the uh, rinds out and I'll just rinse that out later but there you go so I don't know hopefully you enjoyed that take care and happy camping